Now, football, always a goal uh, for young boys, a dream even. Um, but I understand that you didn't want to be a quarterback at first. <laughs> when did that change? Um, well, I guess w wouldn't really say that it changed. I, I was kind of forced to change. Um, I was a wide receiver uh, all the way up until high school. And obviously, I felt I was a pretty good wide receiver. Uh, went off to, to play uh, high school football at Regis. Uh, when I was a freshman, we had nobody try out for the quarterback position. So our coach, in all his genius, just lined us all up and said, OK, I want to see who can throw the ball the farthest. So really didn't have anything to do with skill. Let's just see who can throw it the farthest. So we lined up. I threw the ball the farthest. And so the coach just said, hey, OK, you're going to be my quarterback. And I remember thinking, no, no, you don't want me as your quarterback. Trust me. Really good wide receiver. Just leave me at wide receiver. We're going to be just fine. And he fought. He goes, no, you're my quarterback. Show up tomorrow, and we're going to put you at quarterback. Um, so, you know, I start playing quarterback. And the one thing I realized about quarterback is that they want you to just stand there and get hit without trying to avoid the hits. They want you to throw it to somebody else so they can score the touchdown, and they want you to get hit. So having been a wide receiver, uh, my goal was always obviously not to get hit. So I dropped back as a quarterback, and first sign of any pressure, I'm taking off and running. I, I am getting out of there. I do not want to get hit. And, you know, so we, we're trying to run plays, and here I am. I'm running all over the place. And I told the coach, I said, see, you don't want me as quarterback. And so he just continued to blow the whistle, start over, run the play again. And so I remember coming to practice about a week into it um, when, I, when I wasn't going to stand in the pocket. He goes, okay, I got a new drill for us. We're going to call this drill the Kill Kurt drill. Right, you never want that kind of drill named after you. And so he said, here's the deal. He's like, you're going to drop back, and you cannot go any farther than outside the tackles. So all you have to do is you got to stand in the pocket, you got to look to make a throw, or you have to avoid the pass rush. Otherwise, you're getting hit. We are not letting you run anymore. And so we would do that drill over and over and over. I mean, you can imagine, my buddies loved that drill. It was a free <laughs> opportunity to tee off on Kurt. Um, but, but it's funny because I look back now, and if, if anybody, I know you guys are probably too young, but maybe your parents remember my career a little bit. Um, when people talk about my career as a football player now, they say one of my greatest traits was my toughness, was my ability to stand in the pocket and take a hit and deliver a throw. And so it was a huge lesson for me early on that so often I think in life we want to gravitate to what we do well. Isn't that the truth? When it goes to practice, well, I'm really good at this, so this is fun. I'm going to practice this. I'm going to stay in this place. And it taught me very early on that sometimes if we're willing to attack our weaknesses, if we're willing to spend some time on the things we don't do well, that ultimately those things can become the things that separate us, those things that, the things that, that separate or set us apart from everyone else. So I learned that my greatest weaknesses can become